There were objects so peculiar, they were not to be believed. All around, things to tantalize my brain. It's a world, a life, anything I've ever seen. And as hard as I tried, I can't seem to describe like a most improbable dream. But you must believe when I tell you this. It's as real as my skull, and it does exist. Here, let me show you. This is a thing called a present. The whole thing starts with a box. A box? Is it steel? Is it filled with a box? A box? How do you like a box? If you please. Just a box with bright colored paper. And the whole thing's topped with a bow. A bow? What? Why? How ugly? What did it? What did it? The point of the thing not to know. It's a bag! Will it bend? It's a rat! Will it break? Perhaps it's the head that I found in the lake. Listen now, you don't understand. That's not the point of Christmas land. Now pay attention. We pick up an oversized sock and hang it like this on the wall. Oh yes, does it still have a foot? Let me see, let me look. Can you ride it and cover it with duck? Let me explain. There's no foot inside, but there's candy. Or sometimes it's filled with small toys. Small toys? Do they bite? Do they snap? Do they explode in the sand? Perhaps they just bring out and scare them. Please, now not so fast. There's something here that you don't quite grasp. Well, I may as well give them what they want. And the best, I must confess, I have saved for the last. For the ruler of this Christmas land is a fearsome king with a deep, mighty voice. At least that's what I've come to understand. And I've also heard it told that that is something to behold, like a lobster, huge and red. When he sets out to slay with his reindeer on, carting bulging sacks with his big great arms, that is so I've heard it said. And on a dark cold night, on a full moonlight, he flies into a fog like a vulture in the sky. And they call him. <laughs> well, at least they're excited, but they don't understand that special kind of feeling in Christmas land.